In the following lecture, we're going to talk about one of the most important muscles in the human body. And if, if it was down to me, in my own personal opinion, I would class this muscle as number three in the body when it comes to importance. And what we can do here, we can either fade everything around just so you can see the entire system, because that's what I want you guys to start thinking like, like when it comes to the body, you know, so you got systems. There we go. So. This is what happens, like, if you've got tightness in this tissue here, and this is what's really interesting, so you got the tightness here, okay, you got trigger points or whatever, yeah, so this is going to impact the movement of the shoulder, but because this tightness is there, it's also going to start pulling onto the origins, and the origins are into the iliac crest, into the lumbar spine, which we also need to select, uh, because without it, you know, things just don't work, um, but you get the point here, okay, and just so you can get a clear picture of what I'm talking about. I've gone ahead and selected the entire portion of the spine where the latissimus will attach, as you can see there, and the pelvis, the sacrum, the humerus, the scapula. So these are all structures that are going to be affected by, uh, you know, good or not as good movements of the latissimus dorsi. So if you are experiencing tightness in the muscle, like I said previously, then you're going to also impact all these structures. So when you are dealing with like shoulder pain, it's always, you know, really important to also look at the mobility of your hip, uh, you know, your lower, uh, any kind of tightness in the lower back, like the QL, for example, because of the proximity of the latissimus dorsi to the QL muscle, you know, there will be some sort of a connection there, okay? Um, so it's always really important to look at everything. And then if we just go and hide everything around, then you can really clearly see, let's just select everything there, you can really clearly see what I mean. So this is one structure. This is not just like individual, so I'm, I don't, I never look at these things as individual like bones or muscles, you know, and then if you even add like the nerves there, makes it even like more interesting. Look at the entire nervous system, and then you've got the, the lats and like the lumbar spine, the, pel the pelvis there, the, the humerus. So all these nerves that come out like from the brachial plexus, they will pass very closely to the latissimus dorsi. You know, and that's why most of the time when people have like um, pins and needles down the arm, or, like we weakness or lack of sens loss of sensation, the lats could play a role there. Okay, so it's always you know it's always really good to release these muscles and to make sure you got optimal movement because if you are stuck in any of these positions and you feel like you don't have full range, then that's just going to impact uh, you know so much more. It's not just going to impact the shoulder; it's going to impact your back. You know you, the nerves that pass through here. Uh, you know the, maybe even the nerves that pass through the pelvic region as well because you can see the connection there and the nerves that come out of the lumbar spine. 